Uh, we returned uh, from this weekend. We went to Green Bay tournament, um, tournament hosted by Green Bay. We didn't actually play Green Bay. We played uh, East Illinois on Friday and uh, won that game 2-0. Um, started off really brightly in that game. Had a few chances to probably score in the first five or ten minutes that uh, we were a little un unlucky with. And then, um, and then really continued to dominate the game. And um, it was really um, just a moment, just a a question of when we were going to score. We waited uh, a little bit too long for my liking, but um, finally we were able to get on the board with a, uh, a goal off a corner. Um, our sophomore midfielder, Maggie Riley, crossed it in, and uh, freshman uh, defender, Mary Brandt, was on the uh, far post to head it in. And uh, both girls are from Ankeny, play for I Ankeny High School, so um, uh, that was definitely a, a made in Ankeny uh, goal for us. And then about five minutes later, we were able to get a second goal. Uh, another cross came in and another header uh, from Morgan Gallagher, who's one of our senior defenders who um, is now playing forward uh, due to some of our injury issues. But um, she was in the right place at the right time and got her head on the ball and um, made it 2-0. So uh, it was a good win for us. Um, definitely something that we needed um, just for, you know, to get our, our confidence uh, to where we wanted it to be. But uh, uh, we then played on Sunday against Western Illinois. Um, again at, at Green Bay and uh, came out a little flat, uh, actually really flat, and, um, and, and gave them kind of a goal head start. We really didn't get going until they scored, and then it kind of shook us up a little bit, and, uh, and then the game was pretty even from there on. But um, a little disappointed. We watched the, you know, we watched the football team and, and their great win on Saturday uh, in the hotel, and, and I thought we'd be really inspired by that. And, um, and instead, we came out uh, a little flat and uh, with little, you know, not enough energy. So that's something that we're going to have to uh, to work on and continue to talk about as a group. Because uh, at, at this level, you can't you can't give a, go a team a goal head start because it just makes the game that much harder. You got to chase. You got to really kind of scrap your way back into the game, and that takes up a lot of energy, and it also leaves some gaps at the back. And Western Illinois were able to take advantage of that. Uh, scored a second goal, made it 2-0. Uh, and then, and then we made a, a you know a, a huge comeback. Scored a really nice goal off a header from Ali Breeze, one of our senior defenders. Uh, and then had about three or four chances. We hit the crossbar twice in the last five minutes, um, and really had some good opportunities to uh, to tie it up. But um, again, we kind of left it way too late, and um, and we've got to learn those lessons quickly. So. Uh, so we look forward to this weekend, coming back home. Uh, our first home games of the season, we play Nebraska-Omaha on Friday night, 7 p.m., uh, and then play Western Illinois again on Sunday uh, at 1 p.m., both, both home games for us. And uh, we're certainly looking forward to being at home, um, also looking forward to getting some healthy bodies back uh, on the team and, um, uh, and, uh, and, and continue to, uh, to work hard. But uh, we've got to start the game in the right way, in the right, right manner. Uh, and that'll give us a, a chance to win these games. So, any questions about soccer? No. Nope. Well, hopefully, uh, we really love to see some uh, people out there.